Hello. Welcome back to the show that thinks you really need to check your briefs. It's we, the revolution. Yeah, look, I used that introduction before. Number one, I think it's funny. So I used it again. And number two, it's Monday. Get off my back. I couldn't think of anything else. I thought I'd pull out that old gem. You're welcome. Anyway, we're a little over seven hours into this um, playtime. I think I just checked um, time to complete, and it's normally around like 13 hours. So it looks like we're a little over halfway. Um, we're going to dive back in here. Let's look at this news again. Well, first of all, I've only got two influence points. How did I go from like six or seven to two? It is worth considering why the bank refused to postpone the date of payment. Oh, this is uh, for my wife's old friend. Apparently, the bank director, Abel Daquin, is the one who is so strongly opposed. He has a wife and daughter. Rumor has it they both let Roy a little too close to them. This Daquin found out and is now willing to lose the money lent by the bank. Okay, so this, this ass hat. Needs the money from the bank and then it goes and messes around with the, his, the banker's daughter. I can't arrest him for that, can I? I don't have enough money. The only one I have is for arrest. His wife and daughter both let Roy a little too close to them. Uh, this is a personal thing. Like you gotta work it out if uh, there's there's no there's no crime here. Just people being horrible people. All right, let's take a look at our reputation quick. We're kind of okay with everything. My personal reputation is down a little bit. I got. I don't know what's going on here, man. These these effects are starting to add up on me. So it looks like this is going to drop off. Right, I got a minus four. All these things are cumulative, but they only last a certain amount of time. Um, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here today. Is this finally... Uh, no, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, let's look. We're dealing with slander and inciting a mob. Before the court stands Fabrice Serdan, accused of inciting a riot at the market on Rue Claire. The defendant is an 18-year-old tailor's apprentice who's been working for Morel Garou, the former personal tailor of Baroness de Ronsard. Due to the situation that arose as a result of the defendant's actions, Char Sergeant Charles Laval, a member of the National Guard, was beaten. Sir Dan himself took part in the riots. He was caught red-handed and particularly was dressed as a woman. Uh-oh. The most incriminating testimony came from Sylvie Martin, a greengrocer. She had been forcibly removed from the battered... She had to be forcibly removed from the battered Sergeant Laveau, as did other rioters, who, to our surprise, were mostly women. All right, so this guy's firing up the firing up the lady folk. Martin testified that the tailor's apprentice was wandering between the stands, shouting in a dramatic manner that Sergeant Laveau had tried to rape him, and that his superiors had refused to carry out justice for the crime. In a gesture of solidarity, Sylvie Martin and the other women present at the market attacked Sergeant Laveau, Laval, who was carrying out a foot patrol nearby. The soldiers were too surprised by his female assault that they were soon disarmed and beaten. It is said that Sudan also took uh, an active part in the maltreatment of the guard. To be precise, he was seen to kick him in the crotch. It may sound a trivial matter, but the victim suffered severe injuries. The National Guard, along with a number of deputies, demanded capital punishment of the person responsible for inciting the riot. All right, so there's a lot going on here. That story reminded me of, uh, I don't know who out there has watched Monty Python flying circus but the the old women always go around beating people with their handbags <laughs> i forget what that one was called but they were in they were in a ton of sketches 
Anyway. Let's talk to, um, let's talk to this cat. Get the, oh, we got a new dude standing here. Oh, is this the, this must be the guy that got, that got beaten. Pervert running around in women's clothing. I must admit that we do not see such indi individuals here often. Please introduce yourself. Well, I'm Sir Don, Fabrice Sedan, Monsieur Le Joge. Are you certain? Yes, Fabrice. Fabrice is an absolutely normal guy. Taylor's apprentice? I mean, that dress was only a joke. The defendant is accused of rousing a mob to attack a warrant officer in the National Guard and then taking part in the assault. Does he consider that a joke, too? As a prosecutor, I demand the highest possible punishment for assaulting a soldier of the Republic. Assault? I didn't assault anybody, I swear. Then who was running through the market yelling, Sergeant Laveau is a rapist? We're, what, 300 years past this, give or take? And people that like to wear women, men that like to wear women's clothing still kind of deal with this shit. It's kind of sad. All right. <clears throat> Did the defendant confess the crime? I'm going to pick no because they like never con convinced the crime or con or confess. But we will we will change that if we need to. Was his act counter-revolutionary? Doesn't seem so at the moment. While the Taylor's apprentice was dressed up as a woman, what was he shouting? That Sergeant Laval raped him. Okay. Let's put our let's put our case together here. Only two mistakes for eight possible questions. This is difficult. Assaulting the guard. See market. Like what? Where does market go? It's a place. Is that course of events? Okay, the merchant's testimony would be a witness. Has to be. Disguised as a woman would be... Is that method or course of events? Why are we assuming this is a false accusation? Is this guy just stirring up trouble or did this guard really give this guy the business at one point? So he was just trying to think of something to get back at him. Um, inciting a riot would be course of events. You suck. I don't know where I don't know where any of this stuff goes. Disguised as a woman, method, and uh, that goes another place too. Witnesses saw him dressed as a woman. Oh man, we're in trouble. We got five questions to get, and no more mistakes can be made. And these are pretty big ones here. God. This, this is going to be bad for us. Okay, what did we want to what did we want to find if it was kind of revolutionary? Let's start with the witness. Was the dress which is a, accused of still wearing, supposed to help. I really didn't care for any rioting. I just wanted to make fun of Martin and her friends. I was just messing around. I didn't really care for any rioting. I was just wanted to make fun of Martin and her friends. How am I to blame for them battering a dishonest soldier? Right now I'm confused. Martin testified that Taylor's apprentice was wandering between the stands, shouting. So is this guy not even concerned with the this guy? He was just trying to poke fun at another. Shh. 
I don't know. Did Sergeant Laveau really rape the defendant? What? That's absurd. I was just wearing the dress for laughs. I prefer the ladies. Nothing but lies. The witness heard you describe it in detail. Indeed, there were several testimonies that the defendant was talking about a rape on Rue Claire. He was probably just wishing for it. All right, pipe down in the back, please. What do you expect from a strange peasant, peasant boy in a dress? Whatever happened to real men? I didn't yell anything. It was that fat cow, Martin. She made it all up to take vengeance on Laveau using the other merchants. The whole market knows that she's smitten with him, but he turned her down. He's lying again. The other testimonies tell a completely different story. You're the fat cow. Silence! Does the victim wish to comment upon this? I have a fiancé, Monsieur Le Judge. I do not recall any advances made by Citizen Martin, and to be honest, I don't know a thing about her romantic life. Does the victim know Sylvain Martin? I know all the stallholders. She sometimes sells me vegetables for soup. Why was the defendant walking through the market on Rue Claire in a dress? I felt like eating... Felt like eating onion soup, so I went shopping. Clown. But why in a dress? It was a disguise. Those old merchants let them die of leprosy. Won't sell me anything otherwise. Could you explain? The fat cow Sylvie Martin tore her dress apart and then smeared us along the whole Rue Claire, saying it was our fault. They spoiled our business, Martin, and all those stupid market hags who believed her. Don't you dare insult Sylvie, you fumbling excuse for a traitor. I see, but why wouldn't they not serve you? Because we started peddling the idea that eating their vegetables would cause hair to grow between your toes. I thought it was hilarious, but they didn't agree. Yeah, everybody's getting tired of this. I'm getting tired of this. Uh, no, it was not counter-revolutionary. No, he did not defend his crimes. I don't know what I'm doing with him yet. Let's look at the, well, hold on. I think I might let this guy go. I can't, man, I don't want to put this guy to jail. Or I don't want to put this guy to death. I don't have a jail option. Let's do our minis first and see, see if. How that's going to affect things. I might be able to raise this up, it looks like. Okay, Nathan Poplin. Nathan Poplin, who managed prostitutes at Place de Pedras, brutally beat up a client, one of his employees, after he was detained. He testified that the victim did things he did not pay for. What you hear? Edward Adabi, a tavern keeper, has been accused of adding dried conifer needles to his sausages. The truth came out when one of his clients, Jocelyn Montel, noticed that they tasted strange. The, inke the enraged innkeeper tugged him off a stool and threw him out of the building. Eh, that's not worth the death penalty. Yeah, we're building this up. I like this. This, we don't know what information this is, what group likes this. Once Albain Maurice used a thick stick to beat Blaise Sellier, who was working at our fish stall. According to witness, the ruthless blows were punishment for dropping a basket of goods. Eh, that's not worth a death penalty either. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, now I can't change it. Okay. Well, I do have to put a separate signature here. And for this one... I might put this idiot to death. I mean, this is a big, a big swing for the revolutionaries. But we've always been low with them. I like that this bumps up the aristocrats and the common folk. And then we got some penalties falling off. 
I think we're okay with this. Oh, but the jury wants him released. All right, we're going to go with acquittal. No, I can't go with acquittal. Shit, I don't know what to do. Why, why don't I have prison, man? I think things just got out of hand. He's like a, like a, just an immature frat boy, I guess. Death. Put my John Fidele on there. Put my Wise Owl on there. Let the cards fall where they will. I sent citizen Fabrice Cardon to be guillotined. Leave the condemned out. Bravo. Let his head roll. And does it matter what we have to say? He better take us into account in the future. Okay. We're okay here. A little bit of reputation bonus. Aristocrats loved it. Common folk didn't like it. I'm not sure why. Maybe that was with my minis, with my mini cases, that it, that's what it added up to. Let's speak to the common folk. I'm not going to reveal this one. Crime. They're, they're attached. I think before we use manipulation in this case. Withdrawing. We'll use... Carelessness. And we don't know what this one is. So let's just guess. Humility. Perfect. Strong. Weak. So we got to change to the last one. This was a perfect argument, right? Yeah. Anyone stepping outside the boundaries of revolutionary law has only themselves to blame. Only themselves. Thank you. This was a strong argument. The criminals belong in the grave. Only then can we build a better future. Oh, they're satisfied. And this one was very wrong. So let's try aggression. You gained power in France. Now spill the blood of those who oppose the Republic. Oh, they really like that. Yes. Give me that rep. Come on. It was just a stupid joke. A joke. For the revolution. I love every time it's a different crowd with different reactions. Uh-oh. NC-18 alert. NC-17. Well, that's the first time we saw uh, Fidile um, kind of with his wife in like a close romantic posture. I'm being spied on. Uh, normally the wife's just nagging me. They are lovers, yes. The mayor's daughter and Beatrice. Maybe are that wasn't sure? me. More than sure, Alexei. Do you really think that attacking his family is a good idea? Oh wait, that's me. That wasn't my wife. Who? That was easy. Showing a scrap of my vulnerable underbelly and some shiny coins were more than enough to make him believe in our friendship. Okay, this is the mayor now? He is like an animal being led to the slaughter. I will slaughter my friend. And he will not even notice the knife. Man, I'm getting brutal and dark. Designed with class. Congratulations. Thank you. 
I entrusted the decor to Jacques-Louis David's care. He is an artiste. Yes. I heard that you were friends and political allies. Shall we play? Oh, I get to play a game of dice? Defeat your opponent by achieving the best score possible. Losing may damage your reputation. The game lasts five turns and a player with the highest score total wins. Roll six dice and hope for the best. Get your opponent drunk to reduce our chances of winning. Drinking will also let you re-roll more dice. Also let you... Okay. Let's just start with a roll. Rerolling. If you're unhappy with your score, you can re-roll the dice three times during the whole game. Gain points for rolling dice with identical values. The higher the number on the dice, the better your score. Check the detailed score and look out for the special score. How's that 150? Oh, here we go. You receive points by rolling the same number on two or more dice. The higher the score on the dice, the higher the scoring multiplier is. For example, two dice of six will award 120 points. Okay, so we got three fours, which is 120, and three ones, which is 30. So six sixes is, is, is a ton. A special score. If you get a straight. I'm not going to re-roll this first one. We'll let it we'll let that go. We'll see what he comes back with. Oh, he he ain't re-rolling that? Okay. Let's go. Oh, damn. Well, we're just going to keep that. Oh, this guy cheats. Oh, can I keep? If I re-rolled, I got to re-roll them all. I can't just re-roll... It's not like Yahtzee where you can keep what you want to keep. So right now I'm 210 points ahead. We'll stand on this. We'll, we'll let him go. We'll see what he comes up with. Okay. He's closed the gap. 50 points separate us. Oh, that's horse shit. We're using our reroll. Oh, you can! You can keep them. Shit. Let's reroll all these. Oh, I can only reroll three? Shit, then you know what? Let's go for the special. Got a one and a three. Oh, I can't. I gotta reroll. Let's, let's do this then. Let's do this. Maybe we'll get another one in there. Ah, that's better than nothing. All right, I got a 30-point lead coming in. I got two re-rolls left. You think this bad luck will turn around? Oh, I can't re-roll them. Ah, oh, get wrecked, dude. Oh, he's re-rolling. Get wrecked. I assume that you would let me win to gain my trust. I am pleased no. to be mistaken from time to time. We are too competitive. All right, I... Uh... Why? Oh, I can't. I gotta pick this. You spent the evening. Uh, now everybody hates me. This is actually a negative now. Damn. I've been working on that statue like all night, every night. I'm out gambling. 
Now my whole family's pissed at me. Look, stuff's happening, man. You guys have got to understand. It's a tough time, but we'll get through it. What now? Hey, what happened to my guy here? Holy shit, I need more people. What the hell's going on here? The statue has reached another level of development. You can seize another building. Can I please buy more dudes? Please. Where'd my... Why is he inactive? Like, what is even going on here, man? There's like, enemy diplomat, enemy bruiser, revolutionary patrol... Why can't you go back there? I don't want to lure enemy agents. Can you come over here? Only my bruiser can do that. Enemy diplomat, enemy diplomat, enemy... Where, like, where are all these people coming from? How do I got three dudes? No, I don't want to lure enemy agents. He can't move. He's being challenged. I, I don't know what to do. If I go down here... I'll try to increase my influence. I, I like no other crowd's fervor. That's what I want to do. Maybe only my bruiser can do that, but he's tied up. Like, if I lure enemy... I already picked. If I lure enemy agents in, will they... Why don't I come here and scout, actually? Might as well, right? There's no fervor here. There's a little bit of fervor here. What's the best thing to do with this guy? This guy's going to burn this, man. I don't, I don't like that being burned. All right, let's do this. Lower lower the fervor in the section. I want to try to keep this. It would be cool if I could block this 4% off, like here. I need, more, I need more people, man. Like, big time. All right, so I can do... Now that the this is up to 30%, we can grab the printing house. Enables actions against the musket ends and the revolutionary patrol. We can grab the hideout. Operate more efficiency. Uh, help our agents operate more efficiently. And political salon. Which will... Facilitate your work at court. Why is this locked? Oh, because I, I already... Enables actions against the Muscadins and the Revolutionary Patrol. Both of these are good to help me control the map. Let's start with the printing press.
So I won't have access that to that today. How many? I got four. Let's spend more time with my family. And then let's see if I need to spend any more on the intrigue here. Success, success. Okay, so we've already we've already did a successful entry against Posh. So now we want to see if we can get a success with bonus, get a perfect intrigue. <clears throat> Arresting Beatrice Caron. Why do we want to do this? Henry's guards will waylay the mayor's daughter and her lover at their usual rendezvous. Beatrice will be arrested and wait for what happens next in isolation. We will no longer have any use for Marie. Interesting. So that's who we had our guys spy on her. I forget why. I forget why it was a big deal that the the mayor's daughter was was um dating this guy. Was there something wrong with him? Mayor's daughter with Patrice Caron. Also, it would just be furious. I forget what it said about this guy, though. Hold on a second. Can I look at this? I don't have him on here. All right. How do we resolve this? Henra, Henroy will arrest her before she leaves to see Marie, politely and respecting her rights. Henroy's guards will waylay the mayor's daughter and her lover at their usual rendezvous. Oh no, that's right. She she was dating a woman. Big deal, right? I guess it, I guess in many times in many places it is. Henroy will make a show. Let every neighbor know that we want to arrest the traitor. Tell Henroy to arrest her in an alley on her way to meet Marie quietly, discreetly. Now let's since we're trying to befriend the mayor, let's do it as politely and as efficiently as possible. Very sorry we had to make this arrest. We thought you wanted to know. We kept it quiet. We did everything by the book. Let's try diplomacy. Chance of success, 80%. Okay. Today, we have only several minor cases to deal with. How long have I been playing? Uh, you know what? For a, for a Monday evening, I think we'll stop here. I kind of want to keep digging into this, though. I am enjoying it, but I do want to get it, you know, further along, get it done. Um, but, you know, it's fine. I'll just take my time. No need to rush. What's this? All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time on We the Revolution. Bye now.